Welcome back. This is the Tutor Wizard. I'm Adrian. This is Ringo and this is Alice. We're going to do cat math fever today. They're going to help us solve a linear systems, two by two systems specifically using the inverse matrix. Okay, get it. Let's do that. Okay, you're making it hard. What are you doing? Are you going to do that? Example one. Solve the linear two by two system of equations AX equals B using the inverse matrix. So again, there are previous videos where we've discussed this. I know try to focus on me, not the kitty. We view a linear two by two system and where is the system? I haven't written it down because kitty interrupted me. You have X1 plus two X2, three X1 plus X2 equals, I don't care, one equals negative two. Solve this, we're gonna view this system like this. And then we're going to algebraically find the inverse, and then we're going to multiply both sides of this and solve for x. From this now, this is 2 by 2. What I now need is this is ax equals b. This is what they're saying here. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. This is a 2 by 1 matrix. And the outcome will be the same size, which will be 2 by 1, all magic. What we're now going to do is find the inverse of this and multiply this equation by that inverse. What is a minus 1? Well, a is 1, 2, 3, 1. So the inverse is 1 over the determinant, which is 1 minus 6, which is negative 5, times, we have this clever formula, flip those, you want to see me do it again, and then we put negatives on the off diagonals. Now what do I do with this guy? What this says is A times A inverse is the I identity matrix, that's what we know. And we know that I2 times X, a two by one matrix is going to be that two by one matrix left alone. He's giving the sad look. Using this algebra, I'm going to algebraically solve this equation now. I have AX equals B. Oh, this is gonna, let's see how long we can last. Get under my butt. And then we're gonna multiply both sides by A inverse. That's going to give me a inverse A times X equals B. This is identity. This is going to equal, oh, let's put it here. This is I2 times X equals B. Oh, I forgot it. When you got holding several cats, it's harder to do. Now, what am I gonna do in my last step? I'm going to solve for X and the unique solution will be A inverse B matrix multiplication. That algebraic is what we're going to do every time. So if you want, don't do those steps. You know your new unique solution will be x equals a inverse b. What does that mean for us? Well, you want to try and get that? Now I just erased it because I need it. What that says is our unique solution x, which is x1, x2, is going to equal a inverse which was negative one over five, one, one, negative two, negative three, times B, which is one, negative two. And this is why I left that on the outside. First do the integers and then multiply on the inside. This is two by two. This is two by one. The inside indices match. My use multiplication is well-defined and the outcome will be two by one. What is it? It'll be one times one, which is one, plus negative two times negative two, which is five. Sorry, we have the negative one fifth on the outside still. And then this one is going to be what? Negative three and negative two is going to give me negative five. This is going to give me what? Distribute that in, I'm gonna get negative one and one. This is the unique solution. You can put them in there and check. If I put those in there, what do I get? Negative one plus two times one is one, check. <laughs> and then what is the other ones? If I have three times negative one plus one, that is negative two, check. This is the unique solution. Mm -hmm. 